We're too busy working where God didn't tell you to work. We're too busy fussing when God didn't tell you to fuss. We're too busy worshiping everything but the mighty God we serve. But today, the word of the Lord is to fall face down in my presence, to worship me with everything that you have, worship me with everything that you are, worship me in spirit and truth, worship the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings, and watch me work in your life when you surrender everything to the King of Kings. I love this, Joshua. I, I love this Joshua because Joshua comes on the scene and he takes charge mid-vision, mid-promise, mid-way. He takes over from Moses. And Moses is the one who has had all the conversations with God. Moses is the one who knows what's to happen. Moses is the one who received the law straight from God. Moses is the one who received the promise straight from God. Moses is the one who was supposed to lead them all the way. And then, Moses, and then God said, Moses, it's time for you to come on home. And we're going to pass the baton to this Joshua because Joshua gets it. Joshua has been running alongside you. Joshua can complete this on our behalf. So Joshua stands up in front of his people. He stands up having heard the words to be strong and courageous, to follow the laws of God, to follow the word of God, that if you just follow me, I will fulfill my promise. And this is the Joshua who encounters the messenger. This is the Joshua who has to fall face down before his God. This is the Joshua who has to go out among his troops and tell them, we are home. This is the Joshua who says, listen up. God has spoken. And now all we have to do is do what God says. All we have to do is act according to God's word. All we have to do is listen and work. And we are home. How many of you are Joshua's? How many of you have heard a word from the Lord? How many of you know that you're just not quite in your element yet? How many of you know that there is more to life than what you have and where you are right now? How many of you are leaning in, trying to hear what God says, but you got so much static going on, you got so much noise going on that you just can't quite hear what God is saying? How many of you are saying, Reverend Jasmine, you are nuts. God does not talk. God doesn't talk to me. Oh, yes, he does. When's the last time you picked up your Bible and flipped through it a little bit and, and spent some time in the pages and spent some time with the promises how many of you in your prayer life have been still and quiet more than you have talked? Revival, revival was about getting still and quiet and focused long enough so that we could hear what God was saying. Revival was about the restoration of God's people. It was about the renewal of God's people. It was about being able to walk out of a place, being able to walk back into your life and know that you know that you know that you know that the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star was guiding every step you made, every word you made, every turn you made. 
It was about recharging so that you could hear what God was saying. You could feel the nudging of the Holy Spirit. It was about getting powered up so that you could then go out and do what thus said the Lord. Atlanta first, God is saying, listen up. God is saying, listen to me. I am shaking you up. I am here. Get on your knees. Get face down in my presence. You are standing on holy ground. And if you'll just understand that you are standing on holy ground and I am in your presence, then you might just hear me. And you might just know that you know that you know that you know that I am with you. I have not forgotten about you. I will not leave you to wander in the wilderness. I will not leave you sick and weary. I will not leave you broke and busted. I will not leave you like this. But I have come so that you might have a life and have it in abundance. How many of you have listened up so that you can walk into a life of abundance? How many of you know that you're missing out if you are not walking and living into the promises of God? And the only way to get there is to be still, to be quiet, to fall face down, and to worship the King of Kings the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the Savior, the Messiah, the greatest friend of all. How many of you want to hear what God has to say? How many of you are running from what God has said? How many of you need to get still and listen up? We don't gather together in this place just to see our friends. We gather together in this place, for we know that where two or more are gathered in God's name, God is in the midst. I don't know what you have come seeking today, but I know that if you will seek the Lord in spirit and in truth, If you will get still and listen up, I know that I know that I know that God will answer. The challenge for you this week, the challenge for you this week is to get somewhere and get still, get quiet, get on your knees, fall face down before your holy God. Have a little talk with Jesus, and then go do what thus says the Lord. Will you take me on? Will you take me on? Will you take me on? I can't hear you. Will you take me on? Will you take me on? Well, then I'll promise you that God will reveal God's self to you in a way that God has never revealed God's self before. If you will simply surrender. I'm gonna open the altar rail at this time. If you need to have a little talk with Jesus, if you need a readjustment so that you can listen up, if you need some time to fall face down before God, if you simply just need to surrender, the altar is open. Won't you come?